Welcome to Which Ball? In this last problem in lecture three, we're going to be asking the question, which ball travels the longest time and which ball goes the farthest? We have two balls, as you can see. As stated in the problem, the height of the ball on the table is exactly one meter, which goes to the center of the ball resting on this mount. And we're going to be taking the ball and putting it pulling it back as a pendulum, as in the statement of the problem. And the top of the pendulum, the ball will be resting on the top of this rod. And you can see that's slightly more than a meter. So you might think I'm cheating, but no, I'm not. You see this stand is a few centimeters above the top of the table. And so that compensates for the distance between here. That ball will be launched from one meter high. And I'm going to let my colleague Chris tell you the rest of the demonstration. All right, great. I'm going to remember my safety goggles first. Professor Freericks has explained it pretty well. The only other thing I'll add is you'll notice from the drawing that you're looking at compared to the actual video here, there's a s two strings that make up the pendulum here, and that's just so to ensure that the ball is going to fall in a two-dimensional plane when I let go. And I'll do that in three, two, one. 